This past year, I uploaded a video explaining why leveraged ETFs are a terrible idea for long-term investors. This video sparked a heavy debate in the comments section with countless users replying to the post lecturing me on the amazing potential ETFs like SPUX have. This ETF and others like it have historically in the past made investors a large sum of money. Against all the odds, these funds have produced crazy returns, even though on paper, leverage decay was supposed to eat up their gains years ago. Look at almost any other leveraged ETF chart over a 5 year period and the chart is almost universally sloping down. Due to a number of reasons, these leveraged ETFs perform horribly bad over a long period of time due to factors like decay. SBUX stands out though. The infamous Direxion Daily S&P 500 Bull 3X ETF is probably the most famous 3X ETF in this family. If you look at the 10 year chart, the results are astonishing and hard to argue against. For investors, this ETF seems like a no brainer. In theory, its objective is quite simple, seeking to replicate the daily investment results 300% of the daily performance of the S&P 500. That means if the S&P 500 goes up 3%, your returns should be 9%. If it went down 3%, your returns should be negative 9%. Over time, however, most leveraged ETFs suffer from a highly complex phenomenon called decay. And along with dozens of other risks, they usually slowly bleed out over time. For most, holding a 3x leveraged ETF for years is a recipe for throwing your money away. These funds are usually intended as financial instruments that are meant only to be held for hours. Holding them for years is outright wrong, and many of them will explicitly state in their perspectives that investors should not hold for any period longer than a day. You can see the effect for yourself. Type in some 3 times leverage ETFs into a financial chart and set the time frame for 10 years. The results are quite obvious. An overwhelming majority of these ETFs are in a line straight to zero. Over time, they are almost guaranteed to lose money. Now there is a clear exception and that is leveraged S&P 500 bull ETFs. Those that try to mimic the returns of the most famous index on the stock market, the S&P 500. These charts almost all look great. Now, As you may know, the S&P 500 has performed extremely well over the past two decades and since 2008 has just seen two slightly negative years. In essence, we are in the middle or possibly the end of a decade long bull run that has shattered many records and made a lot of people rich. With relatively low volatility and an amazing economic run, those holding these ETFs over the past 10 years have done really well for themselves. Returns in some years have exceeded 100% and overall they look to be very attractive investments with a proven track record stretching back to 2009. Guessing at what these ETFs and specifically the SPUX will do is extremely difficult. Although many experts and people on the internet will swear they are guaranteed money if you invest in them. Remember that past results are not a predictor of future events. For most who have options or opinions regarding this topic, their view is very narrow. They are correct in saying their returns have been incredible for the past 10 years. Quite a lot of time for anyone. But the unfortunate truth is that the time frame is nothing in the grand scheme of things. We are now living in a time that is relatively unusual in the history of modern economics, where stock prices basically only rise. This bull run has been historic in every sense and will most likely appear as an outlier when we go back and look at economic history. There is no telling when it will stop and until it does, you can expect to make a lot of money investing in funds like this one. But what this video is about is the other side. And you don't have to take my word for it, take it from the creators themselves. The guys who set up SPUX will tell you straight up in their prospectus, printed in bold letters, that this fund is not for long term investing. Quote, for periods longer than a single day, the fund will lose money if the index performance is flat and if possible that the fund will lose money even if the index performance increases. The prospectus for this particular fund is well over 700 pages long 
and just the risks portion is well over 20. Understand that due to the complexity of these assets, there are numerous ways you can lose your entire investment. The most simple way is right in your face and if you step back you will see it. At the end of the day, the fund mimics three times returns and while the S&P 500 rarely moves more than 1-3% to per day, over the course of a decade it will face extremely turbulent times. Just imagine a day where the S&P 500 lost 34% of its value. That's hard to imagine, but it's within the realm of possibility. Some rare events could potentially trigger a sell-off of that magnitude. If the S&P 500 were to drop 34% in one day, your investment would be 3 times that. 34 negative times 3 is negative 102%. You know what that means. In one day, it's possible to lose your entire investment your life savings gone. On top of these extreme events, there are volatility issues. For instance, if the index analyzed volatility is 100%, the fund will be expected to lose 100% of its value, even if the cumulative index return for the year was 0%. That's right, even if the S&P 500 didn't lose money, but experienced high volatility throughout the year, the fund will lose 100% of its value. This amount varies according to this chart, and certain volatility figures could easily wipe out decades of growth. This fund has been fortunate to never have experienced these events over the past decade, but even its founders are printing outright that this past decade should not have been a template for the future, saying, quote, Historically, market cycles have included long-term positive and negative periods. Since approximately 2008, the market has largely moved upwards and accordingly, the market may be poised for a correction or downturn, which may adversely affect the fund. Because the fund is leveraged, a minor downturn or market correction, which impacts the securities in the index, should be expected to have substantial adverse effects on the fund. You can read all about the risks in the prospectus. The list just goes on and on, including issues with liquidity during crisis and poor performance tracking over time. However, these fears have not stopped investors who have made a killing holding this incredible yet extremely dangerous ticking time bomb. If you are a holder of one of these funds, please comment below and let me know what you think about these risks and how you've profited off leverage ETFs in the past. And once again, thank you guys for watching.